So we've already said that you've got um, different people that interact with the world in different ways. And when you're looking at reminiscence session, if you're not doing a one-to-one, -one, obviously you're going to be either doing a small group or a large group of people. Um, one-to-ones are very easy to tailor down to the individual. But with larger groups, you need to offer a varied sort of experience. So everybody accesses and that is onto part of the, 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 the offering, what you're giving out. Having said that, I'd say that when you look at some of the guys that are into the mid to late stages of dementia, they need their own experience to put them in with the sort of mainstream group isn't really fair on the mainstream group and it's not really fair on the people in the mid to late stages of dementia and in all honesty it's not very person-centered so um when we're talking about a varied experience of people of the same level of um, comprehension and cognitive ability will interact with the world in a different way we use something called a reflective uh, cycle which comes off sort of a reflective learning cycle and it's five stages and um, at each stage something is gonna latch on to the people that you're working with that relate to them so in the first stage we give them an experience and the experience can be a visual experience watching a video it can be going through books it can be looking at pictures it can be just an open discussion uh, it can be reading text, it can be anything. As broad your imagination is, that's how big the experience is. And then I suppose this is where we really get into the, the reminiscence part. We, open a we ask them a series of open questions. Uh, what, where, when, why, who, how, and sometimes which. And um, unpack what we've just discussed and what we've just looked at. Um, and then... As we come to the end of the session, we might ask them to draw some conclusions, not always, about why things happened and what it meant to them and how it affected their lives, etc. Some people you'd move them on to another stage and ask them um, what that's given them for their life today and how they use that experience into the day-to-day -day life now. So the experience... Um, generates the whole session um so i hope that's helpful just a little bit on the mechanics and i'll come back to you and give you a little bit more